Well, these numbers were a little bit shocking. Well, let's get into it. Welcome back to another makeup inventory. You guys, before I put my makeup away in storage, I did count my makeup for this inventory. And let me tell you guys, the numbers are quite shocking. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this. So this is the mid-year check-in for my makeup inventory, and I was really happy with my numbers in January. I didn't really feel the need to like downsize or increase or anything else, but you guys, my numbers have gone down dramatically because as I put my makeup away for the summertime, I did do a declutter. I did not film this declutter because I feel like when I'm filming a declutter, I don't actually get rid of what I wanna get rid of. I'm too busy like thinking about the declutter, like the video, not necessarily the declutter. So I did declutter my makeup as I put it away. So my numbers have gone down quite a bit. So let's go ahead and kick this off with setting spray. At the beginning of the year, I did have one setting spray. I did finish up that setting spray and I bought another one that has an SPF in it that I have really been enjoying and using every day um, for an extra layer of sun protection. So I do still have a one setting spray in my collection and I'm happy with that. Primer. I did have two at the beginning of the year and I still have two in my collection. However, the two I have in my collection are completely different than the ones that I had at the beginning of the year. I actually found my Holy Grail primer and I just have that in my collection now. I don't feel the need to have any other primers and I'm happy with that one. In fact, I just bought another backup of it because I am almost done with my first one. So really excited about that. Still have two. I'm happy with that number. Foundations at the beginning of the year, I did have 13. Now I have 11 in my collection and as you guys will see in the picture I obviously found my favorite foundation because I have multiple backups of it If I did not have so many backups of my favorite foundation I probably would have like a lot a lot less um, But I do enjoy this foundation and I did buy backups because it looks like it's getting discontinued and that's really really sad But right now I do have 11 foundations in my collection and actually one of those um, of the super mat is almost done. I have about that much in the very bottom of it. So um, that number will be going down as I work through those, but I'm still happy with that number. Concealers. I had three at the beginning of the year and I still have three in my collection. I'm happy with that number. Um, concealers isn't really something that excites me very much. So three is a good number for me. Powders. I had six at the beginning of the year and now I have three. However, I did just order a backup of my um, Makeup Revolution IRL powder that I absolutely adore. So this number will be going up, but I am almost done with the um, current Makeup Revolution IRL powder that I have in my collection. So I, it's not going up by that much, but I am happy that this number has gone down. I have found a powder to replace my Fat Flower Nose Circus Series Loose Setting Powder. It works the exact same. It's beautiful on my skin and that's pretty much the only powder that I need, but I do have a couple extras in my my collection just in case I run out of that. Highlighter, I had six at the beginning of the year and now I have five. So I have decluttered um, my highlighters obviously since I have been getting some new ones in with my Shop Missé orders and um, a few of the other orders that I have placed. However, I have only kept my Holy Grail highlighters and I haven't been using highlighters very often this summer. So, you know, my skin is naturally oily. I don't feel the need to wear a highlighter. Today, I'm not wearing highlighter, although, you know, it looks Looks like I am. So I'm happy that this number is going down. Blush, I had eight at the beginning of the year and now I have five. So this number has gone down. However, I do have face palettes in my collection to make sure that I have plenty of variety with my blush. So I do not mind too much having the five in my collection. I don't think that's too many. I don't think that's too little. I think that's a good number to have, especially considering that I do have other blush shades in my face palettes. Bronzer, I had eight at the beginning of the year and now I have two. That's it. 
just two. And one of them is the mini uh, Laguna bronzer, the NARS Laguna bronzer, and that is the one that I have been using the most this summer. I've really enjoyed using the NARS Laguna bronzer. Um, however, I do have a bronzing palette in my BH Cosmetics, um, I believe it's the Waffle palette that I use that does also have three bronzer shades in it, but just single bronzers, I do just have two, and they're two that I love. They are the two that have stood the test of time, and they are not creams, you guys creams do not work for me. I have found that out especially over the summertime. Maybe in the wintertime the creams were working a little bit better for me but now that it's summertime they just melt and it is not pretty. So two bronzers and they're both powder. Face palettes at the beginning of the year I had seven and now I have three. This number has gone down. I have decluttered quite a few of my favorite face palettes just because I was not getting the use out of them and I had like repeat shades in my singles collection. So to keep it so I have a variety and no overlapping shades, I did declutter quite a few of my face palettes when I was putting my makeup away, but I'm happy with this number and it still gives me the variety that I want when I'm doing my makeup. Eyeliner, at the beginning of the year I had nine and now I have four. You guys, I have found my holy grail eyeliners and I'm very happy with them. I have a um, she Glam, it's like a duo chrome highlighter. I believe it's called a multi-chrome, but it just shifts from like purple to green, so I'm gonna call it a duo chrome. Um, but I do have that one for my purple and my green looks. I have a brown eyeliner, I have a black eyeliner, and then I have a liquid black eyeliner that I've actually really been enjoying, and that's all I need in my collection. I found I do not really use all the different colors, so that's not really something I need, and I have gotten rid of my gel eyeliners because that was a phase, and they're just, they're too, they're too much for me to deal with. The liquid eyeliner I've finally gotten into after years of just not being able to do it. I do not do wings. I just do like a little line right by my lash line of liquid liner and I found that it helps the eyeliner stay on and stay more defined during the day but four is all I need right now I'm very happy with this number and I will just replace the ones that I have as they run out eyebrow products at the beginning of the year I have four and now I have three I am very happy with this one of those is a backup for my essence make me brow that I love and I've used for years so the essence brow products are really really good and I love the pencil that I have that has the spoolie on the end and I love their make me brows so that is all I need and that's all I'll repurchase from now on because brows are not something that I need to like switch up eyeshadow singles at the beginning of the year I had 21 and now I have 23 if you guys have been watching my shop and say orders you know I have fallen in love with the Venetian romance um, single shadows and I've gotten quite a few of those so I have decluttered some of the ones from the beginning of the year but I have brought in others so this number did go up but only by two and I'm very happy with that mascaras at the beginning of the year I had two and now I have three in my collection I did go through a phase where I was doing mascara Mondays and I was trying new mascaras trying to find one that works for me and gives me the length the volume the staying power that I need having an active life style so once I did find those I quit doing the mascara on Mondays and now I just have my three staples that I love and I will repurchase eye primer at the beginning of the year I had two now I have one that's all I need I don't need any eye primer I usually don't use eye primer I just use concealer and foundation on my eyelids and that works for me so but I do have eye primer just in case I want to use it especially if I'm using some of the um, eyeshadow palettes that have the um, the fallout then I will use an eyeshadow primer but in general like today when I'm wearing a NARS palette you do be I, do, I, I personally do not need an eye primer with that I like it the way it is and you know concealer works fine eyeshadow palettes at the beginning of the year I had 71 and you guys that is a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I am so excited to say that I have cut that down quite a bit right now in my collection I only have 43 eyeshadow palettes and this number is actually going down almost on a daily basis because those 43 I am going through and I am testing them out and if I am not liking the formula, if I'm not liking the color story, if I have duplicates in my staple collection that I have, I'm getting rid of a lot of the palettes. So like today, this palette that I have on my eyes is one that I am testing out and I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep it or not because I believe I have these shades in another palette, but we'll find out. But all in all, I'm very happy with that. 43 eyeshadow palettes from 71. You guys, that's fantastic. Keep this, keep this momentum going. That's what I want to do is keep this momentum going so at the end of the year I can come back and maybe say I only have 
30 eyeshadow palettes. That would be fantastic. Lip gloss slash oil, I did lump this into one category at the beginning of the year and currently. At the beginning of the year, I had 14 and now I have 13. I have used up quite a lot of those in my Rolling Project 10 pan and I was getting a lot of those out of my collection. I have brought more in, but as you can see, I'm using up more than I'm bringing in because that number is still going down. But you guys, I use a lip gloss slash lip oils when I am um, putting, when I'm riding my bike, like when I get to a store or something and I just slap it on so I have something on my lips for hydration, for a little extra shine while I'm in the store. And then of course it comes off when I'm riding my bike. It doesn't stay on, but this number is going down and I do appreciate that. Lip liner, we started with six at the beginning of the year and now I have five. This is not a category that excites me. In fact, I have one lip liner that I've been using nonstop. It is my favorite and I'm kind of debating decluttering some of the other ones. So we'll see how that goes. But currently I have five. Lip balm at the beginning of the year, I had 14 and now I have seven. Both me and my husband use lip balms on a regular basis and I count it just as a whole. So this is a category that will constantly fluctuate and I am fine with that. Bullet lipsticks at the beginning of the year I had 26 and now I have 21. You guys, I have kind of fallen out of love with bullet lipsticks. I have got this one liquid lipstick that I'm currently wearing that just goes with every makeup look that I've paired it with and I have worn this literally for like two months straight at this point in time and I just, I, I like this combination. I like it with every look and I'm very happy with that. So bullet lipsticks, this has gone down. This is probably going to keep going down just to let you guys know. And my last category, you guys, my liquid lipstick. At the beginning of the year, I had 25 of them, and I have decluttered them down to 11. Now this number is probably going to go down even more because I found my favorite liquid lipstick formula, and I have this one color that I wear all the time. I would like to get a red in this, and maybe just a lighter shade. However, I do really love this formula, and so my liquid lipsticks have definitely gone down, and I do still wear and love liquid lipsticks. I know a lot, not a lot of people do, but I personally do. And this formula is fantastic for me personally. So I did declutter this down to 11 and I'm hoping to declutter it even more. So we will see at the end of the year how far down I can get my liquid lipstick collection. But you guys, here is the big number. At the beginning of the year, I had 248 products. And now, drum roll please. I have 169. I have gone down 79 products. I am so excited about this. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.